you may be thinking, holy shit, it's another driving rant? And I'm thinking that too. They seem to be getting a little excessive. Seems like all I've been making rant-wise has been driving rants recently. Um, but this one definitely needs to be addressed. And I was thinking about it the other day. Let me let me paint the picture here, okay? You ever been driving? You ever been walking down the road, just you know, doing this, vibing, dancing, walking, maybe rearranging some furniture, you know? And then all of a sudden, a guy's coming along and, and with his car, and he's just like, out of fucking nowhere, and you're just like, yeah, that's been you. Then you might be entitled to some financial compensation. Uh, no, uh, you might be, you're, you're definitely, you're definitely very much entitled to, to relating to this rant, however, um, uh, yeah, I think everybody who is anybody that's ever walked down the street, touched grass before will know what I'm talking about, uh, with these guys. They're very easily distinctable, uh, with their loud ass fucking cars and, and their, uh, stupidly large exhaust pipes and um, their low riders or whatever the fuck you want to call them. And I want to rant about them because they are annoying as shit. Um, first off, they're always... First off, have you ever seen a common theme with these cars? Um, I mean, I guess they're not even cars. They're trucks. We'll go and start with the cars. If it's a car, it's usually... It's, it's, it's going to be pre... It's going to be at least 20 years old. First of all, you see these guys always cranking up uh, like a 2002 Honda Civic, a 1955 uh, 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 Nissan Altima, or, or like an Audi Hoogaboo from like 155 BC. And, and you'd be cranking the thing up, and like how, and you, you look at these cars and you're like, how the fuck did they make this thing sound louder than a fucking jet engine taking off? Um. By just putting an exhaust pipe in the damn thing. Like, how the fuck do you even get an engine that can fit? How the fuck do you even get these... And they always got these, like, underglow lights, too, which are fucking illegal, by the way. You got underglow lights that they always shine. Uh, the ex Again, the, the exhaust is bigger than the fucking uh, asshole of a rhinoceros, okay? The engine's probably just as big as the exhaust pipe, which you don't even know how that can possibly work. Um... And there's sometimes they got a random ass fucking paint job on it, like a dragon or, or some signs. I don't fucking know what they are. Uh, and just and then also another thing, they always make it sit as low to the ground as possible. Like their maximum height that they can sit above sea level is like point zero 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 one millimeters. I'm thinking, who the fuck would want to sit that low to the fucking ground to drive drive a car? Like imagine you got to go through a speed bump, right? And you're just going. It, you you hit the ground, you're touching the you're touching the ground when you go through a speed bump. How how is that fucking fun? And sometimes they'll have it sit so low that the tires are like angled wrong and the axles are fucking broken so that the tires are adjusted out. Think like like when Lightning McQueen was literally crawling his way to the finish line at the end of the fucking piston cup race, the beginning of cars. Think that, but all four tires and they're just waddling along on the ground. Do you do you think you look cool with putting that kind of design on your vehicle? Nobody likes how that looks. One, the ti the tires are going to be exposed to literally everything and anything possible. You know that the tire rims on the top of the car are supposed to protect the fucking tires? Okay, that's literally their design. Are you literally negating the fucking sweatshop workers that worked on this thing literally fucking 30 years ago? Seems like you are. Um, and then the trucks aren't any better, Okay. The only difference between the trucks, you know, same fat ass engine, same exhaust larger than the asshole of a fucking blue whale. Um, and the difference with the trucks is they're not trying to sit as low to the ground as possible. They're trying to sit up as high as possible. Okay. You will see these motherfuckers coming along. They're like fucking 40 feet tall. Shaking the entire highway. They always see them on the highway too. You never see. You see the. You always see the cars. Okay, 
You always see the cars. They Their target objective for where they want to drive, it's like they're allergic to main roads and highways. Their main objective is to go down the slowest and smallest roads possible. Speed limits 30 or lower. And so what, so what do they do? They go down there, they'll drive normal, they'll pass by you, and then as soon as they pass by you, like you're just walking on the street, going to class, or going to work, or going home, or something like that, and all of a sudden, they'll just fucking step on the gas pedal, and then a whole earthquake will happen, just like, and they'll floor it to like fucking 80 in a 30 zone. Truck guys are the exact same thing, since they probably can't get up to 80. Because their truck's so fucking high. Like they're at, like you literally see the tire. Here's the there's the truck. Here's the tire. Why do you want it this tall? It's like you have to use a fucking escalator to get up to your to get up to the truck every day. You ever see, you ever see, you ever see one of those machines with old people, um, when they have trouble getting up and down the stairs, so they get that seat that, that slides like this up and down the stairs. Do you think when people jack up their trucks taller than the off, off the state building, that they just decide to do that? They need one of those? Like, okay, I'm gonna go purchase this. And then the store worker at Office Max is like, oh, you, yeah, you're, you're buying this for your grandmother, I suppose. Like, sure. Then they go home and use it for themselves. How the fuck do you think people feel when they look at that? Tell you what, not good. Because they're choking on the exhaust coming out of your truck. And I'm just thinking, like, how? Why? So stupid. Um, and speaking of the tires, you know, you got, you know, they don't have the tires that are, like, spread out, like, like this. No, they're, like, fucking massive. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, one of those tires that you'd see on one of those kind of trucks would not fit in this, uh, in this room. It'd be too big. It would literally fucking go through my ceiling. Like, who the fuck wants that? Just to jack up your truck so much that you can't even climb into things. Like climbing up Mount Everest. Imagine falling out of that thing. Imagine getting, imagine like you're drunk one night. Because these people definitely do drink and drive. Um, which makes them even more of an asshole. Imagine getting out of the truck, though. Maybe you're in the passenger seat. Let's, let's not assume that they're endangering the public more than they already are. They get out of the seat, and they're thinking, all right, you know, I'm just going to step out. And they fucking fall 20 feet to their death. Like, seriously? It's always like a, it's always a Ram, too. It's always a Ram truck. I never see them jacking up a Ford or a Silverado or, or, or even like a Toyota uh, it's always, it's always like a Ram, a Ram truck, not even Jeep, just a Ram truck, by the way. Um, and their, their goals, and then, and then you, then you get these, then you look on social media and you see these assholes. Uh, some of these cars, people are too young to even drive, like 15 year olds with these fucking cars. And what do they do? They go on like two in the morning to have their annual convenience meeting, uh, you know, think like the meeting of the barbarians at the White House or something like that. I don't fucking know. Um, but their meeting spot is always either an abandoned building, like a Denny's, or, or like a Popeye's, or like a grocery store. Um, some parking lot. They always have to be in some parking lot at like 2 in the fucking morning. And their goal is to get, it's like a, to put their cars in a circle, cult style, and then have people do donuts in the middle of that circle. Also, because their entire goal is to show off how loud they can make their car. And they got the underglow lights going, and they try and get as much smoke going as possible. Like, how stupid and how inconsiderate of the people do you have to be to, to make to do that? I don't fucking get it. I really don't. Those people, to those people who think it's cool to, to do what I've described, I'd like to issue a couple of big these to you. Because you're just causing more noise pollution. Might as well get you a hearing aid while I'm getting you that uh, escalator stair thingamafucker. And if you're thinking of doing that, buy a regular car. 
And the people who have junkyards and are selling these 2002 Civics and Altimas and whatever the fuck else, just stop. Just stop. Please.